Hi, it's Linda of Yam Stamps. I'm showing you a quick video on Stampin' Up's planner and how you can set it up easily. Um, I've had a couple questions about it and I didn't shoot a video when I opened up mine. I should have, I know. But here's the video now. Hope it helps you out and please feel free to contact me if you have any questions. So this is what the planner cover looks like. It's a two ring binder and you get lots of little pockets to store things in or to put in little pictures. Uh, another little pocket. I think I have yeah, the little post-it notes. So you can put receipts in there or anything. Um, because it is a binder, you can arrange it in whatever way you like. I started in July. Um, so I was able to put July at the front. I think I might purchase a refill part way through. It does have a little page guide here to uh, help you bookmark where you are. I'm just gonna open it up to January um, and I hope you're not getting too much of a glare I keep checking every once in a while so it's got the different dividers so the dividers all come separately so you pull those out they're pretty self-explanatory the part where sometimes it gets a bit confusing is putting the pages in the right order so this is going to be the first page you open it up now this is the one section that is marked so it is marked January but then the dates are blank so you can fill it in for whatever year you're using it for so there's going to be two sheets for the calendar for the month at a glance and I think I assigned four sheets for the weeks but I'm not sure we'll find out as I go through so on the back of the one month so this is going to be blank this is going to be labeled so then you make sure you have two of those together it already has the beginning of the week on the back of it so you find the Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday sheet that has the rest of the week on it so you do so how many pages is that not counting the month there's one two three and then the fourth sheet is going to be a different sheet oh no fifth sheet in this case it's going to be the fifth sheet four now the fifth sheet there's going to be a Thursday through Sunday sheet you'll find that has the lines on the back with a little spot to keep notes that's always going to be the last page of the month for the weekly inserts okay so when you put your put your uh, book together you're gonna to have your divider you're gonna have your month at a glance sheets make sure that the second one has this Monday through Wednesday then you're gonna put a Thursday through Sunday that's backed with the Monday through Wednesday you're gonna do a few of those I would advise putting it together before you put the numbers on it and then again the last sheet of the month is going to be the one with the lines on the back so just look and find those ones first and then you'll be good to go so same thing here some of the months you might not as need as many obviously so then again the months that start like on a Thursday you'll have some blank spots and you just start numbering on the appropriate day so again how many I think I might have one less in February because it's a shorter month so there's the month sheets so there's one regular page two regular pages three regular pages four regular pages and then if the fifth one is the one with the lines on the back so I hope that helps you when you're setting up your own planner it's really nice to have the flexibility um, and the other thing that I like about it is the fact that it's a, a ring bound because I tend to be very hard on my planners I carry them around with me wherever I go and I've started to find that the coil bound ones start to fall apart on me about mid-year so I'm hoping this one will do better so far so good and uh, if you have any other questions feel free to give me a shout uh, info at yamstamps.com or come visit my website thanks a lot bye